In today's video, let's try and evaluate this nice series sum, which seems hard to evaluate in the first place. When it comes to evaluating a series sum, it is always useful to focus on each of the terms and see if there's a way to transform them into more useful form. Granted, this doesn't always work, but in our case here today, we can see that the general formula for a term in a series is n divided by n minus 2 factorial plus n minus 1 factorial plus n factorial. In particular, the denominator seems to be a good candidate for factorization, with n minus 2 factorial being the common factor. So let's go with our instinct and do the factorization. We discover that upon factorization, the denominator just evaluates to n minus 2 factorial times n square, upon which we can cancel out a factor of n with a numerator to get 1 over n times n minus 2 factorial. So far so good, but the denominator feels a bit unsatisfying. It is only lacking a factor of n minus 1 before we can write the denominator as n factorial. Let's follow our gut feeling again and create a n factorial down at the denominator. To do that, we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by n minus 1. Doing all this gives us n minus 1 divided by n factorial. And suddenly, something magical happens. By splitting the fraction, we can get 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial minus 1 divided by n factorial. Why is this so special? If you recall, earlier, we are evaluating the series 3 divided by 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial all the way up until 2001 divided by 1999 factorial plus 2000 factorial plus 2001 factorial. We're writing each of the term using 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial minus 1 divided by n factorial. We see that all the intermediate terms cancel out, leaving only 1 divided by 2 factorial minus 1 over 2001 factorial, which is our final answer. Such nice series, whose intermediate sums cancel out each other, are called telescoping series. While it is nice to have telescoping series, they are not evident or obvious in many of the questions you will see, and some algebra is often needed to create them or to reveal their existence. Okay, we have come to the end of this brief video. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and if so, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video, and until then, bye.